So here's a spot where uh, you see all that sand. This is a frac sand facility. I stopped and visited one time. I don't remember the top tower there is a couple of hundred feet tall. Obviously these silos are for clean sand. And uh, what it's for is uh, for well fracking, for oil field stuff. I won't get into whether you agree with it or don't agree with it. That has nothing to do with the tour at this point. But in the far back there, right behind the van, you can see uh, that big black bin and then that roller thing in the back. That is a heater, just the same type of machine as they use for heating asphalt when they're building, paving a road or when they're dumping the aggregate in there but they're heating and drying the sand. And you see these big old piles of sand here. You can see you've got some massive conveyors and you've got cats that'll push that stuff up. It'll be like with a D9 cat making these big piles. Anyway, we'll loop around and see just a little more from the highway, what it looks like. And then uh, go on our way. So this is on the way home from the city. This sand comes from uh, a nearby old river bottom, ancient river bottom. A couple miles away, a guy told me that they dig it all up and they pump it in a, in a pipeline as a slurry to here and then they dry it and screen it and all that kind of stuff. And when you're running frack sand, it has to be just exactly the right size. What fracking is, is it's uh, short for fracture. They are fracturing the uh, oil or natural gas bearing stone formation and then letting the, the product flow better into the oil well. Anyway, spit of the bit of a blender or something going on there. So that'll be a screener and a conveyor system, obviously. Anyway, so you've heard of fracking, darn. You've heard of fracking, no doubt. Some people have, but that's one way to get the sand is from a mining operation where they, uh, now it's quieter. Dig it up, process it, clean it, haul it all over the place to oil wells that they're putting into production so that you and I can have gas and oil and diesel fuel and natural gas for our uh, heat in our homes. And that's one of the better ways to do it because what happens is instead of having to drill a thousand different wells, you can drill one well and drill down directionally through the for the uh, pay zone of the formation that produces the oil or gas, whatever. So they'll just drill directionally through that formation and then they fracture little bits at a time as it goes along. They just set some pressure, break it more and more and more as it goes out towards the top of the well. And then that increases the production value of the well and decreases the environmental footprint of trying to get that much production. That's the long and the short of a self-proclaimed know-it-all. Talk to you later. Hope you thought it was a little bit interesting.